Octopus myself. I'm Dr. Anacleto B. Melendez. I'm the founder of the Beautiful Heart Foundation, a SEC registered foundation uh, in December 19, 2005. And it has grown from the very humble beginning in Davao City. We were born in Davao City. Davao City? Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, as I said, from the humble beginning, I've been supported by a bigger foundation in the U.S., Brothers Brother Foundation, a 55-year-old foundation. So um, over the years, I've been doing medical, medical outreach programs in depressed communities, depressed barangays, depressed municipalities. And of course, lately, um, when I was in Narvacan in Locosur, I received a letter from the good counselor here requesting our organization to do medical, surgical, dental missions. I think this was handed to me by uh, uh, Madame uh, Azucena uh, Cordero Sabado, who happened to be a relative of Councilor, right? Uh, the, half of the wife is a relative of Councilor uh, Corpus. So, with a very short notice, we were able to do medical outreach program yesterday, starting at 9 a.m. We were able to serve more than 300 patients in Barangay Mal Malwak, something like that, no? Malwak. More than 300, out of that 300 patients, about 250 or so are from the barangay. The rest are from different nearby barangays. I have talked to the uh, barangay captain. I have seen the need of the barangay uh, in terms of healthcare, in terms of educational support, livelihood. I forgot to discuss and in the evening. I had a meeting with the former counselor. His name, I think, is Colonel Mendoza. Is that correct? So I met with Colonel Mendoza, being a seasoned counselor also from this municipality. So somehow I shared. I shared, and there was even a, a, a companion of his, also a barangay Kagawa, right? That guy was singing with me. So uh, the reason the Beautiful Heart Foundation is going to these depressed communities is because we would like to really assist um, poor patients who are in need of free medicines, free consultation, we are into livelihood training program, we are into educational programs, 